So something like that is, is an effect that you can't really accomplish on a regular fretted instrument. Um, and, and the also great thing is that you can play, you can start playing, um, you know, a lot of uh, Eastern music that uses, um, you know, microtonal, uh, you know, tone centers and things like that. So you, you can, you know, play in between pitches. And yes, it, it does sound very out of tune to, you know, our Western ears, but. Um, you know, to to fans of Eastern music or just that cultural that culture in general, it's uh, it makes perfect sense. You know, it's not out of tune at all. So you really open up, um, you know, the type of notes that you can play, and the type of scales you can play as well. Um, and uh, it's definitely helpful. In I mean, it's, it's, this, this instrument's very very uh, world music oriented, um, and you kind of have to adapt it to your playing style. You know, the, the, the guitar is what it is, and you have to, I mean, it's appropriate for, for every style, but you have to adapt your technique to it, and you have to adapt your music to it so that you can use it to its uh, fullest potential. Um, another interesting thing you can do on, on a fretless um, is some of the special effects you can achieve. For instance, um, you, can, you can hit like a, a harmonic, or, and you can, you can slide it up. You can actually slide harmonics back and forth. And that's an effect that you uh, you see a lot of violinists will use, or cellists especially can uh, can get that effect to a, a great degree. Um, the other thing is that if you let's say let's say I'll throw in maybe some chorus here, um, and uh, you know just just focus on on the uh, the top four strings, you get a you get a very acoustic bass type tone almost. <laughs> So it's a uh, you know you, you kind of almost get like that nice sort of you know semi Jaco Pistorius type tone out of it. Um, so it's very you can get some old, just some really interesting just sounds out of it, and uh, you know definitely it's it provides a lot of um, opportunities rhythmically too. Because just because it's, you're, it's so easy for you to slide around, you can you know you can start playing you know some sort of run, um, and just you know just kind of do a, a really abrupt halt and just slide the note forward or back. So it's uh, in that respect, it's it's very much like a um, like a pedal steel guitar in a way. You can get uh, some very similar types of um, pedal steel type tones out of it just by, you know, just grabbing a chord like a bar chord, or um, you know, much as a, a pedal steel guitarist can, um, you know, use the knee or the foot pedals to just slightly alter the pitch. Um, you can do somewhat similar things by just slightly moving your finger. So in in, in that respect, you can get some uh, some really just you know, beautiful and, and out there and out there tones, um, and then the, the other thing um, that uh, you know you can you can do with fretless is um, let's say you you add a, a distortion to it. Um, on a fretless guitar, um, sustain is always going to be a problem, um, but you know if you add a, if you add some sort of overdrive or distortion. You can really uh, get some interesting out there type of tones. So you know, this, this guitar combined with a, a good uh, effects processor, and uh, especially with a synthesizer built in, um, can really, can really uh, you know, get you noticed on stage, that's for sure. But um, you know, I'm, I'm still a little scared to play this thing live for, for, my, uh, my, you know, for the shows that I have. But um, it's definitely something you have to work on, and you, you have to practice just like you would uh, learning a different instrument. Um, 
you know, and in, in regards to actually learning how to play fretless guitar, there aren't really that, there isn't that much in the way of um, instructional material out there because, you know, you can't really read tabs because tabs are useless because there's no frets to, to, to look at. Um, so you, you definitely knowing how to read notes is going to be uh, very helpful. And also um, uh, doing ear training exercises, you know, practice your intervals. Um, you know, start playing just perfect fifths. And then, you know, you start from playing like, a, you know, practice perfect fourths. And, you know, do that on every string. And just being able to hear those intervals is going to be very helpful, especially when it comes to improvisation and um, learning how to uh, improvise over um, a set of chord changes. Um, and, you know, but, but it's, it's, it's not really a one-trick pony. It's, it's a very versatile guitar. And uh, again, you can use it for you know, any sort of style that you, you feel appropriate to use it on. And um, it's, uh, just, so, just overall, it's a very refreshing instrument to play. And if you've been playing guitar for a while now and want to try something new, um, you know, the Godin's a great guitar. There's also some uh, other companies like, uh, I think, Viglier, or Viglier, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they, they, they produce uh, an electric guitar that has, um, it has a, a mirror finish. It's actually a, a glass neck on it, uh, which provides some very, very interesting tones. And, um, you know, you can also convert your own guitar into a fretless just by, um, you know, you can, you, can hit, you can heat up the frets with a solder iron and just rip them out and just fill them with, with uh, with, a, with wood glue or just whatever epoxy material that you want, you just sand it down and, and there you go, it's an instant fretless guitar. But um, you know, I suggest that uh, if, if this is something you're interested in, definitely check it out and uh, happy playing.